Welcome to The Secret Sauce with Grossi Pelosi, the show where I visit Food 52 community members in their home kitchens and ask them to share the secrets behind their favorite family recipes. Today, I'm in Brooklyn with recipe developer and creator of the baking blog, Easy Gay Oven, Eric King. Today we're making my mom's recipe for baklava. This is a recipe that she made all of my life and most of hers. Mm -hmm. This was a recipe that she got out of a magazine when she was like 15 years old and over the past, you know, 45, 50 years, it's changed. it has changed, evolved, embellished, that. and then I've put my own twist on it as well. This is phyllo dough. Yes. It, uh, it comes in sheets, uh, but they're very delicate, so mm -hmm. you kind of have to be uh, gentle when you're holding them. Yes. Usually <laughs> I buy them, usually I buy them so that they fit in a 9x13 pan. These came in like a weird size, so we have to cut them in half. Do you think this would make like a nice face mask? Right. Okay, we have to throw that out because it's going to be really... I'm going to give you the mop later. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to mop that up? <laughs> I sure am. What I'm going to have you do now is brush the bottom of the tin and the sides of the tin with some of the melted butter. I did go to art school, so this is good. This is where I'm going to show Paintbrushes, paintbrushes. Yeah. brushes. My mom, when I grew up, used to make baklava, but I have no idea why, because it's not part of our like heritage. Is baklava connected to your family heritage? Yeah. My mother's father, my grandpa, his family immigrated from Lebanon. Okay. I believe I've told you this, but your mother, yes, the reason yeah. why we're here today, mm -hmm. <laughs> loves to slide into my DMs yeah. and chat with me, yeah. <laughs> which makes me so happy. Yeah, she's so proud of you. She's never met Dan ever. Um, but she's 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 but everyone's she's, mom. She's like living uh, by proxy through me. I tell her about you, and then she slides into people's DMs. But yeah, <laughs> well, I welcome it. You can't. You really can't stop her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Am I just gonna do layer upon yeah. layer? So. Uh, Every layer of phyllo is six phyllo sheets. And the hardest part about this recipe is keeping track of the number of phyllo sheets you have. Okay, down. got it. So you just brush it with a light uh, layer of butter so and then, then put the next one down. Oh my gosh, so then every layer is six layers? Yeah. So what happens after six layers? Is that when we do filling? Yes. After six sheets? Yeah, and I can work on that now. Five ounces of walnuts, five ounces of pistachios, a generous pinch of salt, cardamom and cinnamon, and now I'm just gonna add three-fourths cup of granulated sugar. Put and this on? Yeah, just wear, oh my that, gosh, this wear is, that together. I have a feeling this is gonna be so easy. Then we just layer? I have a filling. A filling. This is gonna be so easy. <laughs> oh boy. Pulsing? Yeah, pulse. You just want everything in like coarse, coarse pieces. Of course we That's do. good. <laughs> That's really good. Um, Did you get you, that? Of course, of we course do. Of course we do. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that looks perfect. So half of this is going to go on the six layers of phyllo dough that we have down. Wow. Just sprinkle it over the top and then you can use clean hands to kind of spread it around. Now we're doing another six layers? That's right, you're doing another six layers. This is really a lovely process. Despite all the like rancid comments we're making, this is actually yeah. just so beautiful. Yeah. We really bring down the whole We bring down thing. the whole experience. I agree, I agree. <laughs> it's really um, pretty. <laughs> this is very meditative. Is. Like this is what I would help my mom do. Like I would be the person to either like mess up the dough sheets and like put them yeah. down and then- Yeah. Um, Were you in the kitchen with your mom from like very early on? Yeah, all the time. Same. Yeah. Same. Absolutely. Like I did not play with other children. I just hung out in the kitchen with my mom. Yeah. Stealing cookie dough, mm -hmm. all that jazz. Exactly. I always tell the story that every year we would do cookie day at my aunt's house. So it would be all my cousins and, and my aunts and my mom. Yeah. And I was the kid who like took cookie day decorating way, way Fair. too seriously. seriously. I could see that. And like I'd be working on one cookie for an hour and I'd be like, okay guys, almost done. <laughs> and everyone's like playing and watching. Meanwhile, they're out in the snow. Yeah. They finished their cookies for the day and I'm like, I would be like, I'm should we make snacks guys. for the kids when they come back in? And then I would have like a whole, I would have like, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I would be like, should we make hot chocolate? You know, when my mom used to make this, I don't think this was one of the ones that I really like was part of. So I'm really, I'm not remembering any of sort of how she made it, but I remember being amazed by the results. So yeah. This is great. I'm your mom today. You are. Thank you. Thank you, mommy. Ready? So now we just do the whole thing over again. We're gonna knock Gorgeous. this out. Bah, bah, bah. Okay. Last sheet. Okay. So I've saved a really beautiful, uh. rip-free sheet Jeez. to go on top because this is gonna be like the makeup on the concealer on <laughs> the top of the baklava to get a nice, really 
even, smooth topping Gorgeous. so we can score it. Well, I'm gonna do a beautiful job applying the butter on top of that concealer. We are going to score the top of it now okay. with a sharp knife. When you're scoring baklava, there's a lot of ways to do it. You could also just like cut it into squares. It doesn't matter. But we do diamonds in my family, uh, sort of like parallelograms. My mom's advice was to start from the top left-hand corner and drag down to the, the center mm -hmm. of the long side. That makes sense to me. And some people go all the way down the baklava, some people only go halfway down. We're going halfway down because we're going to cut it later. Why don't you do one line here, uh -huh. parallel to this one, uh -huh. and then another one here. Right there, okay. So like two more lines, evenly spaced apart. <sighs> Wish me luck. Yep. A single bead of sweat yeah. drips down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's seedy. Oh my God, that's such a lovely thing to cut through. Yeah, it is kind of like, it scratches yeah, an itch. It really scratches an itch, for sure. Can I keep going? Yes, please do. You're gonna do two vertical lines evenly spaced apart. You know what? What? You don't need me anymore. I'm, I'm gonna go. go. I'm Bye. gonna go. Walk, get us, a, get us a snack. Okay, what do you want? I don't know. We did it, now what? So now I'm just sweating, so I need to, I need to take care of that. Sorry. No, it's fine. That was intense. Woo! It was really intense. A single bead of sweat was mine alone. <laughs> so this is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for 32 to 34 minutes. You just want it to have a really nice, deep golden brown top. Gorgeous. This feels like a great time to tell everyone that if you are enjoying this episode of The Secret Sauce with Grossi Pelosi, you can like, subscribe, and comment. That was really seamless. Thank you. <laughs> While we wait for the baklava in the oven, I have a question. Okay. Can I take my relationship with your mom to the next level and FaceTime her? <laughs> Are you ready for this? I think she would love a FaceTime from you. Love. Let me get Nancy on the phone. <laughs> Hello. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Dan wanted to say hi. Yeah, hi, how are you? My gosh, a celebrity calling me? <laughs> no way. I'm with a celebrity. Your son Eric is a celebrity. We're filming we're filming Secret Sauce right now. Yeah, we're filming an episode of the Secret Sauce together. <laughs> the bakla yeah. the baklava is in the oven. We're making your baklava. Oh, I'm so proud. Are you making it right though, Eric? <laughs> he is. I'm making it sort of by your directions. Yeah. Almost entirely by your directions. You're not putting orange in it, are you? <laughs> <laughs> she was very, she was very anti-orange. Orange, We're not yeah. putting orange in um, it. Eric's been teaching me how to make it, so yeah. if anything goes wrong, it's my fault. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful! Thank you right. for making more baklava. We love it. All we right. love you. Love Bye. you, Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so cute. Dan. Yes. That's me. The. <laughs> The baklava is almost done, and mm -hmm. I think this would be a good time to heat up our honey. So I'm gonna microwave this for 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Okay. You don't really want it to be boiling. You yeah. want it to just be, you know, thin and warm. So can you just scrape that out for me? We're pouring it into the container that the butter was in. Can I start and it? Yes, you may. <gasps> warm honey and butter. There's really I nothing mean, better. Nothing better. Nothing better. Ah, hello. Oh boy. This will drizzle over the finished baklava. Right when it comes out of the oven? right when it comes out of the oh oven. Oh my gosh. Um, and then it sits for a bit? And then it's actually gonna sit for four hours. Oh my God, cover me in honey and butter. And let me sit, let for, me four sit hours. for four hours. Always. That's all I want. Um, <laughs> and what's great is that you don't have to cover it. It'll, it'll just soak up and it'll be sticky and sweet mm. and a little bit salty and nutty. One of my favorite things about baklava is how dense it gets. Like it's just like mm -hmm. such a chewy bite. Yeah. Okay, so four hours. Four hours. But like you made a swap, right? Like we don't have to wait four hours. Well, I thought we would like um, crochet. Oh, I'm just kidding. Just swap. <laughs> so here we have our swap. Dose. We cut this one a little differently, but it's the same thing. Cheers. Oh, oh no, <laughs> I ruined it. I would do that. <laughs> That's okay. That's normal. <gasps> Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Did you hear that crisp crunch? Mm -hmm. Shattering. It's so delicious, Eric. The pistachios, the cardamom. I love it's it. Incredible. You can see the little green in the yeah. filling. And I have to say, it's not too sweet. It's perfect. 
You have to make this. You have to make this. It's so good. This would truly be the perfect thing to make for Mother's Day. Yes. Yes. Gorgeous. Gotta make mom proud.